Sally Day, boys. All right, guys, uh, welcome back. So I want to run down this real quick. So we have uh, Sally, the six-speed here, our, my wife's 2001 six-speed Cummins here torn down. Um, and we are replacing the uh, oil filter housing. So just uh, real quick. Uh, for those of you guys that are new, uh, those of you guys that have been around for a while know that we have already had the motor out of this truck, uh, just to regasket it. That was it. That's, that's all that we did. Uh, I mean, we, we threw some bolt-ons at it and some more go-fast parts at it while we were in there, but that was about it. So I bought this truck a couple years ago, uh, and I got it for cheap because the previous owner had blown the oil line. And it grenaded the turbo. It actually it split the damn thing in half. It was kind of neat. Well, I noticed, and the wife noticed, that if you look at the side of the block there, it's getting kind of juicy. And uh, let me see if I can get out of here. If you look inside of that bore right there, it's pretty shitty. So... So we have our new oil filter housing. Well, what had happened was uh, I was cleaning the area up. Focus. Um, and I was trying to chase the threads and clean it out, but I kept getting this because our oil feed looked great. The threads inside of the lines. It's not easy doing this one-handed, guys. Everything looked good. So when when I when we got the truck, you had a bad turbo, so I put a new turbo on there. And then, uh, I mean, I checked the lines and everything. The line, all the the threads and. Uh, everything on it looked great. Do anything, nothing of it. But no. Nope. See, Sally. Sally's a good girl. She's got a way of telling us um, when something's wrong. Rather, it's an inopportune time or meh. This seems like a good time. So, what we're gonna do while we're in here um, is we're gonna pull. So we're gonna replace the housing. And then uh, we got our new um, block heater element that we're going to throw in there too. Um, because again, for those of you that are new, uh, we don't mess around when it comes to those uh, block heater elements. For those of you that aren't new, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, but I got her, I got her split open like a stuffed hog right now. She's draining coolant. And draining oil, but that's enough rambling. This has been way too far long winded. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead in here, jump in, and uh, start tearing this shit apart. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys afterwards because I don't think I'm gonna get a good enough angle to, to get it off. So, catch up with you in a second. People would quit using RTV when they work on their goddamn trucks. There is nothing I find more frustrating than when people put RTV on a goddamn gasket. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. If you, if, if you don't know what you're doing, dude, get on a forum. Get on YouTube. Do something. Stop being that douchebag. That gets on a forum and is like, hey, why is my gas gauge show half full? And then get distracted by some clap piece of shit with 22 by 14s on it. Stop being that guy. Just quit it. If you don't know what you're doing, 
find somebody that does, ask for help, don't be afraid of it. Um, and also, you're the same guy that likes to troll on the internet. You see a truck like, well, we got. And you're like, oh, hey, piece of shit. No, you're a piece of shit. Anyway, rant over. Um, well, not quite over yet. So there's there's a steel gasket that come out, and, and this has been reused. So this got cut. And, uh, which one of you would have, one of you filthy fuckers out there decided, oh, yeah, hey, we're just, you're just going to cover an RTV. Stop it. Anyway, got it out. Oil cooler looks good. Everything else looks good. Uh, yeah, that's our, that's our element. That, that don't look good. So, I'm thinking, somebody's been in that part of the engine before, um, and, and I feel like this thing had a bad oil cooler at one point, and somebody swapped it out. Um, trust me, if it was me, I would happily tell you how much of an idiot I am, but I can't, uh, I can't take full credit. But I do need to, uh, switch gears for a second, so you guys know that I love my DeWalt tools. But I gotta tell you what, this, this right here, this Milwaukee Ratchet thing came in clutch came in absolutely perfect so luke thank you for letting me borrow it um that's also his uh, uh half inch impact there which that thing works great too uh so mama if you're watching this you know if you see one show up in my cart just saying uh so anyway yeah we got everything out the uh black heater is uh spoiler alert uh, the black heater is an inch and an eighth. Uh, we got our new equipment over here from the fellas at Gino's Garage. We even got a uh, easy drain that we're going to go ahead and throw on. Now this truck actually originally had one on it um, before we did the oil pan. But because it's an aftermarket oil pan, we had to go with a smaller one. So keep that in mind when you guys are ordering an easy drain. There are two sizes because, well, there legitimately is... Two different sizes so just just keep that in mind uh but i'm gonna throw this stuff in this is i mean you guys know how to do this uh but again uh these are oe parts from cummins they are from gino's garage uh, we got a lot of stuff from gino's coming in i mean got some fluid amper action there we got a lot more stuff from fleece coming in too uh and gino's as well um, we already, you guys have seen in a previous video, we've got our fleece drain here. We are doing a fleece, uh, supply line as well. But, uh, anyway, that's, that's where I'm going to stop for the day. Cause I kind of hit a, I kind of hit a roadblock here and that's really all I can do. And honestly, I don't, it, it's, if I want to stay calm and do this right, which I'm not even mad, I'm more upset with the, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, if I if I want this to continue to go smooth, I'm just you know take it a day at a time. So anyway, looking forward to getting this thing put back together. I really do need to do a video on this truck. That uh, good lord, uh, that covers it because Sally is more than just your typical clapped out second gen. Uh, again, for those of you guys that have been around from the ground up. To the drivetrain, the chassis, suspension, steering, all that. We have done all of that. Absolutely all of it. We have uh, refurbished the chassis and just, just absolutely everything. So, but she's not just, she's just not a, your typical 24 valve with a fucking tune. I'm cussing. YouTube, you're not going to like that. You know, when the day. Whatever. Um, but she's more than just a clap 24 valve with a tune on her. You know, this thing has, we'll get into it on in another video anyway. Um, but that's what I got for you guys today. Um, sorry, it wasn't all that exciting. Uh, we do have, uh, more first gen stuff to come. Uh, we got Lola stuff to come again. We're working on Sally here and hopefully that big guy up there will get some more we'll get some more work on that really really hope we get a chassis home but anyway shutting up all right like comment subscribe all that fun stuff take care stay safe god bless we'll see you on the next one guys see ya.